Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm just gonna share with you what empties I used. Was it good to the last drop or, uh, or not? I'm just gonna have some chit chat and then I'm gonna announce the winners of last week's giveaway. And I guess I'm gonna just have to go with the road noise today because it is pretty noisy. I guess it's a good thing that there is a lot of construction going on around here. So I'm just gonna look at it that way. And something I wanna mention before I start my video is we have no control, or I should just speak for myself, I have no control of what ads show in the beginning or the middle or the end of my videos. With the elections coming up in November, there'll probably be a lot more political ads. So I don't, I have no idea what are on my ads. I do know that I have been adding one more commercial during my videos. And that's just to increase the revenue that I get for uploading YouTube videos. That's why there is an extra commercial in there. I don't have any control. If anybody knows how to not get political ads on your videos, just let me know. The first product that I completely emptied, and I will tell you, I used every one of these to the last drop. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Line Serum. I, st I don't know when I started using this because I used it for a while and then I quit and then I started back and I really like it. I've already repurchased the backup, but I used my spatula to make sure I got every drop and, and I still like it and I have backups for the year. It says it's advanced anti-aging, wrinkle smoothing, and a miracle concentrate. I don't know if it's a miracle concentrate, but it definitely smooths and I enjoy using it. So before I opened it, I did date it. I opened this on 51620, so I will know exactly how long it lasts because that's important to me. Sometimes something can be higher priced. You get a lot more uses from it. So I like to know how much it actually costs me to use a product. And so when I say that, some of these things I didn't date. The next use up was the Skin Diva 20% Argerline with Hyaluronic Acid and Matrixyl 3000. This is the one I talk about. I use one drop and it covers here, through here, around my eyes and right through there. I just use this every day and I use this right after I use my Miracle Water. It's the first thing I put on and I let it sink in. And I'm pretty sure one bottle will last two years for me. The next item I used up was from also from Skin Diva, and this is a 20% vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid. To me, this is identical with the Timeless vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid. They both really work for my skin. I usually buy what is the least expensive and what I can get the best deal on. When I put this in, I do allow this to about, this is the one that I allow 20 minutes to kind of sink into my skin before I do anything else. And it doesn't pill, it brightens my skin. You know I'm pretty boring with my skincare. If something quits working, and I know that it's, I know it will, then I'm tempted to try something else. But I just like to use what I like to use and, and I use this up. If I don't spill it, I get about a little over four months because I keep it in the refrigerator. I did buy the new, the Timeless, it's packaged in the pump, and I opened that, I think, around the 13th of April. I keep it in the refrigerator, and one pump does my whole face. So we'll see how long that lasts, and I don't have any problems with leakage. I've heard that some people that have, but I haven't had any problems whatsoever. I really like the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Brightening Treatment. I use it in the morning. And this is a full size. I didn't repurchase the full size. I repurchased some of the small ones and I used one of these up. And I did forget to put a date on it. So when I got this one out, and I, I bought enough for a year. I opened this on 32520. And this is how much I have left. It's kind of hard to see. But I really think I'm going to get about four months use out of this. So this may be the way for me to buy it in the future in the smaller jars. But there's just something I really like about it. I like the way it makes my under eye, eyes look. I use such a small amount. But something I've been paying a little bit more attention to, I make sure I get it right in here. Because I, I'm pretty good about doing it at the sides like this. But I forget to do it here. So I've been good about using that. But I'll let, we'll know later how long this truly lasts. I used up a Purity Made Simple. I purchased those in the 16 ounce 
bottles, but I always decant them into something smaller because sometimes they're just kind of hard. They're pretty rigid. I just like to put it in a smaller bottle, but I, I, I like this and I do like the new dermatology, but I have backups of this already, of the purity. The last empties I did was like, I think I filmed it the 13th of March. Well, I have two of my superhero mascaras every season. The day the season changes, I, I throw them away and I get out a new one. So we have the spring and the summer. I do like the Thrive Mascara. I just don't like it as much as I do the Superhero. I used up two navy eyeliners that work perfectly well in my upper waterline. I don't like it to transfer. The Milk Makeup doesn't transfer and the IT Cosmetics No Tug does not transfer and it lasts all day. After trying probably 20, I've tried anything anybody recommended. I talked about this in an earlier video. This is the Wanna Get Lucky Gel Eyeliner from Ardell and it does work. And it does have, I never sharpen mine, but this has a cap that you can sharpen and you can clean. I mentioned that in a, a video, my last video, that I didn't like the self-sharpening pencils, but I don't need it sharp to do my upper water line. And all the other eyeliners I can use someplace else, but just not on my upper water line. And I used up my Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. I opened this and started using this on March 16th and it lasted till June 20th. Somewhere in the middle, I started using it every other night. So I've opened up my full size tube and I think it's exactly twice as much. And I have it dated the 22nd because I've been doing it every other night. So that's why I think this might last a year, but we'll just wait and see. I bought mine from Ulta when they, I, I either used my points or they had like five times points or something like that. But this, I haven't had to use any brow products. I probably should, but you know, it's just one less step for me. So I'm gonna hopefully, hopefully this will last about a year and it'll be worth that for me. I forgot about something that I used up. I used up my Benigma. This usually, this lasts probably eight or nine months. The company sent me the very first one and then I subscribed to get it. I wanna tell you something, it's a lot cheaper than it used to be. It used to be like a hundred and some dollars. What I did when I ordered it, after I used up the first one that the company sent me, I went online and I subscribed and I think it was like $90. But I wrote down their 800 number and the moment I subscribed, I told them to hold off on sending me another order and they did. Well, I'll tell you a secret. If you go back and you tell them you're going to don't want any more, they'll offer it for even less. So any of you all that have subscribed, you just need to tell them that you're not interested and see what kind of deal they offer you. I have another one in my refrigerator, but I'll tell you, for the first time, I have found something that for right now, during this season, during this, the heat that we have, this is always, the, the Benigma has, I'm probably the only person that still liked it on YouTube. It has horrible reviews, it has rave reviews. I just happened to like the way it made my skin feel. And I will tell you the dermatology, both of the, just the broad spectrum and then the one that is tinted, both of my, both of them make my skin feel the way the Benigma does. And this is a lot less expensive. So I will keep my Benigma in the refrigerator and we'll see what happens when the weather gets cool again. But so far, I'm really happy with this. I really had given up trying to find a, just a plain sunscreen for my face because every one of them, settled in my pores, caused me to have a some sort of a rash. I do have sensitive skin and you all may not, but I tried so many that I had given up. So I'm really glad to have that. In last week's video, when I did the giveaway, I asked you to share with me your workhorse products or items. And I tell you, there were a lot of you that loved the Tweezer Man Tweezer. So that made me feel good. And I heard they're made in Germany and that speaks volumes because I've always heard German items are so well made. I had quite a few questions on other videos, you know, because I couldn't reply last week. Like, are you not using this? Are you not using that? Yes, I'm still using my Retin-A. I'm still using my Clarisonic. I'm still derma rolling and I still use the It's CC Plus Cream. But recently I've been using powder foundations a lot lately. Just, I think it's just easy. It gives me a light coverage and I'm really not going anywhere. And even though I put makeup on for me, 
And when I go when I go out, when I go someplace, I do kind of like to spiff it up just a little bit more, but you guys don't hardly see me when I spiff it up. There were so many of you that mentioned how much you love your new face device. I would be all over using that if I didn't have an electrical problem with my heart. If you have different electrical problems with your heart, or if you have epilepsy, there's, there's several other things. You're really not supposed to use microcurrent devices. I did use a device at one time and I found it to be very effective. I was watching a video from Elle this morning, today is Tuesday, and she was talking about a new face that she got from Amazon. She felt like it was a dupe and she was getting really good results. So I know other people that have used new face and it has done very well. I'm gonna put a link to Elle's video below. And if I can find any deals, because if I find a deal, I always try to put it in my show more section. And if I don't have a good deal, I won't put anything there. Something else I believe really works, but I just know me. I would not do it, and it's the red light therapy. I think it does wonders for skin rejuvenation. But, you know, my only red light therapy is the one I do on my lips. And the only reason I do that is because it's part of my morning routine. I put it in three minutes in the morning, and that is it. But I do think there's some wonderful anti-aging red light therapy devices, and I don't know which ones are good, but you might share that in the comments below if you use one. In case you haven't noticed, I do not proofread my replies to anyone. So I want you to know that if you don't pre proofread your comments to me, I know what you're talking about. So don't worry about that because, you know, I'm kind of a slacker. No, if I proofread something, I'll think that really sounds stupid. But if I just kind of go with what I have to say, I don't know if it sounds stupid or not. I did get my hair cut and I got my roots touched up and it was very comfortable. I had it done last week and she cut it probably an inch shorter than usual. And what my normal pattern is, I get a cut, I let it grow three months, I get a cut, I let it grow three months, and that's when I get my roots touched up. But we didn't add highlights this time, and that was fine with me. It was a lot quicker of an appointment. It was the first time I was really out of the house around someone. And yesterday, Jim got his hair cut, and I was gonna film in the living room. But I tell you, I got so busy having the house to myself, I was so busy cleaning that I didn't take time to film the video. But he feels much better with his haircut. We just got word yesterday that Illinois is going to start phase four, and that starts Friday, which will be, you know, it's this coming Friday, but I'm up uploading this on Sunday, so it will start on the Friday previous. But I don't really see much changing for Jim or me. We're just going to keep trying to stay healthy and uh, just avoid crowds. I cannot believe that you all still watch me. There's some people that have been with me from the beginning and I'm thinking I mean I'm kind of getting bored with myself <laughs> so if you don't ever see if you don't so if you don't see a video from me up on a Sunday morning it's because I am bored with myself there's still a lot of videos I want to do but sometimes I'm just not feeling my best the high humidity and the high dew point even though we have central air conditioning I I, I feel the air is thicker so if you don't see me, don't worry. It's just that I didn't have anything for that this week. I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. And both winners will receive a Real Techniques Prep and Prime set, a set of six makeup remover cloths, and the trio of the small tubes of Lansinol for your lips. The first winner is Laura Long 777. Congratulations, Laura. And the second winner is Angela T. Congratulations, Angela. I want to congratulate the winners of my giveaway. Make sure you leave a comment below and I'll get back with you. It is all good. Thank you so much for watching and for leaving a comment, giving me the thumbs up, subscribing, sharing. I just really, really appreciate you. I will see you in my next video and take care. In last week's, in last week's, and um, I'll get back to, and um, no. so don't ever, we're just going to have to go with the ro road.
thank you all for everything. I, I could, 